name is Erica, and I did my Vesper project on oxacillin. Oxacillin is a antibacterial drug. It falls in the class with penicillin because, again, it is an antibacterial. Oxacillin does have a limited spectrum of activity, which basically means that it cannot treat every bacteria. Because it primarily selects for gram-positive bacteria, Oxacillin is a great candidate for treating Staphylococcus, which is commonly called Staph. Staph is spread by skin-to-skin -skin contact. You mostly hear about people getting Staph from using locker rooms and other public places where your skin is exposed. Staph is easily treated, but if left untreated, it can cause serious health problems. If you were to get a Staph infection, you'd most likely be given oxacillin or another form of antibiotic that selects for gram-positive bacteria. Oxacillin is mostly given in an injection form because it travels through your bloodstream, bloodstream faster, meaning that the antibacterial gets to the bacteria quicker, which allows for a faster recovery instead of being treated in pill form. This is oxacillin. This is oxacillin's molecular shape as you can see, it has 19 carbon, 19 hydrogen, 3 nitrogen, 5 oxygen, and 1 sulfur. For this particular molecule, the shape of oxacillin is very important and it's designed so that it can fix itself to a specific receptor so that it can break down the cell wall of the targeted bacteria, making the bacterial walls porous, which in turn will kill the bacteria. This is why the molecular shape of oxacillin is important to its function because if the molecules cannot adhere to the receptors of the target bacteria, there wouldn't be a way for oxacillin to break down the bacterial cell, the bacterial cell wall, thus making it ineffective.